Hey guys, you're watching Connor's Guitar Lessons and today we will be learning how to play Collide by Howie Day. Alright, this is a pretty basic song, only four chords the whole way through, the strum pattern's the same the whole way through, so we should be able to get it through um, pretty quickly. Alright, so we'll start off with the left hand first. Um, for this song you need the capo on the third fret. Um, that's how it's played originally. So that's how we'll play it. Um, like I said before, there's only four chords. Um, they're pretty easy. And the whole time, you only have to move your first two fingers. Um, your third and fourth stay down there the whole time. So anyway, the first chord, you need your first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Second finger on the sixth string, third fret and then your third finger down on the second string third fret and your last finger right underneath that on the first string third fret so like I said before your third and fourth finger they can stay down there and it's only the first two fingers that change so anyway the first chord the G should sound like that alright so then you move your first finger for the next chord <coughs> move your first finger to the sixth string second fret and your second finger down to the third string, second fret. You can play that, it'll sound like this. Alright, and then next chord, you need to move your first finger just down one string, so it'll be on the fifth string, second fret. And you move your second finger up one to the fourth string, second fret. Sound like this. The last chord you need to know is a C at 9 and you need to move your first finger down another string so it'll be down on the fourth string now on the second fret and you move your second finger diagonally up to the fifth string third fret and when you play this um, mute the sixth string with your thumb so just put your thumb over and it'll sound like this alright as you can see it's pretty easy then you move your third and fourth finger at all. So just go through the chords a couple of times and you'll be right for the next bit. Alright now for the strum pattern. Um, I'll put it up on your screen so you can um, practice it and make it a little bit easier but I'll run through it now. So put your left hand in a G position for the first chord and um, I'll run through the strum pattern. Alright, so you need to hit the bass note twice. Um, so G, bass note's the sixth string, so. And then you go down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Alright, I'll do that again. Bass, bass, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Alright, and that's exactly the same with all four chords. Um, so then you go on to the second chord, and that's the bass note is still the sixth string, so bass, bass, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Then you go to the third chord, so the E minor at nine, and that's the sixth string still. Bass, bass, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And the fourth chord, the C at nine, the only difference is the bass note is the fifth string. So that's why it's important to mute the sixth string with your thumb. Because when you're playing the song, you're playing a little bit fast, so you have to, it's a little bit harder to be accurate. Anyway, it's the fifth string, so bass, oops, bass, bass, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. All right? So I'll play all four together so you know what it sounds like properly. Alrighty, so as you can see it's a pretty easy song. Alright, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, um, leave me your thoughts on how the lesson went, um, what I can do differently to make it better. Check out my other videos. Got three or four others. I'm um, gonna be keep adding to that. So make sure you subscribe.
Um, let me know what other video tutorials you'd like to watch, because obviously I'm doing them, you know, for you guys. Alright, cheers.